Hi, I'm Dr. Wilson. I'm a PhD molecular biologist and welcome to another COVID debunking video. You know, I've been familiar with the anti-vaccine community for at least 12 years now. And in that time, I've learned that anti-vaxxers cannot read and they cannot come up with anything new. So the topic of today's video has both of those themes in it because man, it's just bad. Let's just get into it. Let's start with what's true. The UK definitely advises that pregnant or nursing people get vaccinated for COVID. This recommendation is clearly stated by the MHRA, the NHS, the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, and the Royal College of Midwives. Again, all of these professional and science-based medical organizations support the idea that pregnant people should be vaccinated against COVID. And the reason for this is clear. If you are pregnant, unvaccinated, and become infected with SARS-CoV-2, then relative to someone in the same situation but is vaccinated, you are much more likely to experience preterm birth, stillbirths, preeclampsia, and neonatal death. That's because while you are pregnant, you are considered immune compromised. Your immune system is suppressed while it is supporting a growing fetus. So you are extra vulnerable to infections like SARS-CoV-2. So you want to have that extra protection provided by vaccination. Meanwhile, the safety of COVID vaccination itself has been extensively studied in pregnant people, and it has been found to not increase the risk of these serious complications. Not at all. That's why every single professional and accredited scientific society or medical community worldwide, not just in the UK, recommends that women get vaccinated for COVID even if they're pregnant. Links to all of the literature supporting these statements are going to be in the description below so that you can read them for yourself. And I highly recommend that you do if you're concerned about this topic because all of the information is freely available right there. You just have to read it. But last week on Twitter, some absolutely scummy anti-vaxxers decided to lie and say that the UK does not recommend vaccination for pregnant people. Why? Because they can't read. This claim comes from an old document that Pfizer submitted to the MHRA, or the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency. They're a regulatory body in the UK. Now, this was a document that Pfizer submitted for the temporary approval of its vaccine in the UK. At the time, there were no full studies done to assess the safety and efficacy of COVID vaccines on pregnant people specifically. So in that document, it stated that Pfizer cannot recommend its vaccine be given to pregnant people at that time. Now, over time, Pfizer will send more data to the MHRA and the MHRA will update that document with the new information. So last week, anti-vaxxers noticed that there was an update on 16th of August 2022 to this document. They then went all the way down to the paragraph about pregnancy and treated it as if it's new information. Because not only can anti-vaxxers not read, they can never come up with anything new. I mean, anti-vaxxers even talked about this same paragraph with the same misinterpretation back when it came out. And I guess they just forgot about it, and so did their audience. So now they're bringing it up again in order to score some more points on the internet and, of course, line their pockets with their viewers' money. But those updates had nothing to do with COVID vaccination and pregnancy. No advice has changed. That paragraph is outdated because although Pfizer themselves have not done experiments on pregnant women, plenty of independent groups from all over the world have studied the effects and safety of COVID vaccines in pregnant people and found it to be very safe, very effective, and definitely the right choice if you want to protect yourself and your developing fetus. And of course, even if you bother to take 10 seconds and check any current recommendation that the UK has on COVID vaccination and pregnancy, it is explicitly recommended. The anti-vaxxers who are sharing that old paragraph in that old document as an update and something shocking and new are lying and potentially putting the lives of unborn children and their mothers at serious risk. These garbage influencers include names with huge internet followings, such as John Campbell and Norman Fenton. They are absolutely pathetic. They should not be listened to, and they are encouraging people to go put their lives and the lives of their unborn children at risk. It is unacceptable, and honestly, these people should just not be on the internet at all. So once again, we see that anti-vaxxers can't read, they can't come up with anything new, but there's a third theme here, and it's that anti-vaxxers just lie. 
People like John Campbell and Norman Fenton know exactly what they're doing. They know that they're wrong. They know that they're spreading disinformation, but they don't care. They just say it anyway because they know it's going to draw an audience and it's going to put money in their pockets. It's as simple as that. Again, I'm going to put a ton of scientific literature that contains a ton of data on this topic in the description below so that you can read it for yourself. But I'm going to end this video with a personal story because apparently people like that too. About seven months into my wife's pregnancy, we were in the middle of the COVID pandemic and the vaccines had just become available. So at seven months pregnant, my wife got vaccinated. She received her second dose before she gave birth. And we now have a 16 month old, healthy, beautiful, amazing child. Our child also got their first COVID vaccine dose just a few weeks ago. And we're all healthy. My kid is healthy enough to happily be eating lots of food, which is how I got these yogurt stains on my shirt, which I just realized are there. Uh, whatever, no one cares. Pregnancy is risky enough. You do not need the added risk of SARS-CoV-2 coming in and making all of those serious complications that every mother fears much more likely than it otherwise would have been. But if you're vaccinated and you're pregnant and you get infected with SARS-CoV-2, then your body is trained to react quickly enough such that the virus can't spread throughout your body and cause the damage that is associated with those severe complications. So that's how the vaccine is going to protect you, and that's what we see in the data. So don't listen to the irresponsible anti-vaxxers who can't read, can't come up with anything new, and just want to lie for money. Listen to the professionals, listen to the scientific societies, and listen to the data. That's your best bet for staying as safe as possible. Anyway, that's going to do it for this week's video. Once again, all of the links to the science that I talked about in this video are pasted in the description below so that you can check them out for yourself. And if you're still concerned about this topic, please do. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe so you can catch me next week where I'll be debunking some more funky stuff. See you then.